So the International Poverty Solutions Collaborative is one of the centers of innovation funded by the Office of Academic Affairs. And these centers of innovation were charged with doing um, some really unique things. We're actually trying to bring together groups of investigators who are interested in coming up with solutions. The next gen I like to call it the next generation of poverty research. Trying to figure out what is it that we can do that will actually um, help people emerge out, out of poverty and help turn around communities. The, um, poverty, the Poverty Collaborative, Solutions Collaborative, is part of a program that's developed by the university to try to facilitate and encourage interdisciplinary research and practice among the faculty. So they have proposed this center, which is seeking to find solutions to this issue, this intractable issue of poverty. And as I talk to people, you know, I would talk to somebody and they'd say, well, you need to talk to this person, this person, this person. And before you knew it, you know, we had um, over 60 faculty members from 14 different colleges who were quite interested in um, trying to meet some of the challenges that we see in poverty here and elsewhere. There's a lot of psychological um, issues with people in poverty. Um, when you when you grow up in a in a society where you know um, that that things are available, that the resources are there, but you're just not getting them, or that you know that there's people who are eating, or there's people who have heat or electricity, or or don't have to worry about getting evicted, that and, and then when you do go and try to do something different with yourself when you step out of that area or that neighborhood and you go try to get a job or you go try to shop and and you get treated a certain way whether it's verbal or non-verbal like there's a lot of a lot of building up that needs to be done you have to engage the residents in the community in their development in the development of the community because quite honestly this is our neighborhood too, the neighborhood of the university as well as the neighborhood of the community. So we all could benefit by working together for the good of this community. If you look at centers across the country that are federally funded that focus on, on poverty, you'll find that our center is quite different. I would definitely say it's, it's not research just for research sake, for the simple fact that we are already attempting to create relationships that go beyond the research that we're doing. And it's going to take a comprehensive, um, holistic type of, of endeavor to do that. If it just took money to solve the problem of poverty, it would have been solved a long time ago. And it's not going to be easy. You know, I sort of look at this focus on applied research as an iterative process. There's lots of good ideas out there. What we need to do is evaluate those, those ideas when we try to put them into practice, figure out what's working, what isn't working, and try to improve upon it. And over a period of time, we're going to get better at addressing an issue that's been very um, vexing and, and difficult to, to address, not only nationally but internationally as well. Um, okay, we know that's the reality, 
So now what can we do in very incremental ways to have an impact on that um, experience for somebody? So definitely more an applied focus than a policy focus. I realize that we knew a lot, but that we really weren't applying our knowledge in, in the kind of fashion that would put together these solutions that will really make a difference. That is our charge, to do work not just for the work itself, um, but to also change the lives of people in a way that's positive. And I believe that that is really the bedrock of these centers of innovation.